Tierra de Guara, where adventures begin. In the north of Spain, between the Pyrenees Mountains and the extensive territories of Somontano de Huesca and Barbastro, Sierra de Guara rises up solemnly. It is an enormous mountain range covering more than 80,000 hectares, whose strategic location brings it under the influence of a particular climate, halfway between Atlantic and Mediterranean. This has enabled the presence of a long list of plant and animal species, as well as a wide range of traditional economic activities, almost as old as the very existence of man in this region. This combination of factors, along with its mild climate, scenic value, ecological potential and outstanding ethnological riches and heritage, have made this place a very popular rural tourism destination. Its rugged terrain, shaped by an extensive network of fast-flowing, crystal-clear rivers, is the perfect setting for visitors who come throughout the year to enjoy different leisure activities and all kinds of adventure sports. The Guara Mountains and Canyons Nature Reserve, that is the name of this vast area that occupies a large part of the Alto Gallego, Hoya de Huesca, Sobraba and Somontano de Barbastro regions. This apparently inhospitable and wild region has become a refuge for abundant wildlife, including what naturalists consider landmark species due to their beauty and splendor, which boldly reveal themselves all over the mountain range. It is spring in Sierra de Guara. On south-facing slopes, farmland is at its best. Cereal fields carpet large areas with green, while flowers decorate roadsides, forest clearings and crops. Numerous aromas fill the air. Fresh water bubbles up all over the place. The temperature is pleasant and food abundant. The mountain range is exuberant. An unusual nervousness overcomes the fauna. It is reproduction time, and first the females have to be courted. But there is not much time to lose, and now material has to be collected for the nest. Large birds are also hard at work, and the Egyptian vulture, also called the wise vulture, collects wool so that its chicks can grow up in the most comfortable of nests. Meanwhile, tourists enjoy the park's attractions. The mountain range features a route that is part of Spain's network of nature trails and which was prepared by the Ministry for the Environment, totaling more than 50 kilometers in Guara. Itineraries surrounded by unique panoramas and memorable views.
Visiting the monumental tree of Lesina is a must. It is one of the biggest Holmoaks in the world, whose crown covers an incredible 615 square meters. But the mountain range is not only beautiful, but also challenging. Guara has become internationally renowned as a climbing destination. Its precipitous terrain features numerous walls and cracks, which provide the perfect challenge for climbers of all ages. However, not all walls involve the same difficulty. Below the surface of the apparently peaceful water, other battles are taking place along the reservoir shores. This is the male of the black bass, a fish farming species that is greatly appreciated by anglers. At this time of year, it is looking after the eggs laid by the female. It will risk its life to defend the spawn if necessary. When north-facing slopes come into bloom, a wonderful event is taking place in the south. Almost imperceptibly, spring gives way to summer. But the mountain range is exuberant, something that tourists take advantage of. They come to respectfully enjoy the region's attractions and will continue to do so throughout the year. In idyllic settings, where history and nature come together, Visitors swim in the numerous rivers, pure and fresh water. Some spots are not only beautiful, but also ideal for amusement and enjoyment. Young and old alike also find their own adventure here. In Guara, you can enjoy nature in several ways. Horse riding is one way of exploring the mountains, as well as enjoying the age-old essence of the mountain region's villages. Expert locals teach tourists how to prepare the equipment and, of course, how to ride. A truly rewarding experience.
Seated, but on two wheels, cyclists roam the mountain range, which has become internationally renowned for this sport. And in a place featuring steep, challenging terrain, mountain bikers find the ideal setting for venturing into mountains, valleys and peaks. In summer, sports people make the most of the last rays of daylight the time when other creatures appear. Tourists use the night in a different way, to get their strength back as well as sampling the region's variety of tasty dishes. Dawn in Sierra de Guana. Grapes mature on the vine, and as on any other day of the year, an adventure begins in one of the mountain ranges' canyons. This is canyoning, a nature sport that produces indescribable emotions and is accessible to all kinds of adults. Tourists accompanied by professional guides go down narrow ravines, overcoming all kinds of natural obstacles, inseparably accompanied by fast-flowing crystal clear water. Strong emotions in a wild and virgin setting, only accessible to canyoners. Few places in the world have as many ravines as Guara, which is why it is known as the European capital of canyoning. The purest, wildest nature combines with the adventuring spirit that is inside everyone. A magnificent spectacle. In the villages, however, the days go by much more peacefully and walks and souvenir shopping bring great pleasure. This is also a good time for enjoying the region's varied architectural heritage, featuring examples from all the different historical periods, as well as traces of Romanesque, Gothic and Renaissance art. To tell the truth, another kind of art has made the mountain range more renowned and famous. Rock art. 
whose artistic expressions date from around the year 22,000 BC. Levantine art and schematic art stand out in Guara. These are paintings made by hunters, depicting their hunting spears. Here a hunter uses a rope to drag a large mammal pierced by several spears. A head, a long body, four legs and large horns. This is a male mountain goat. The most ancient history of Guara's inhabitants written in stone forever. Summer advances inexorably, and at midday you can feel the heat. The fauna drinks and cools down in the numerous springs. Reptiles too, like the ladder snake, have to drink. In rivers, fish are found in the deepest sections and in pools. As summer nears its end, the air cools while the grape harvest takes place in vineyards. A wide range of grape varieties has produced a rich diversity of wines of renowned personality, resulting in the Somontano appellation. Either in wineries or casks, Somontano wines are characterized by the aroma and flavor of this mountain range, whose sides are covered by vineyards. The sky announces unsettling changes. There is dampness everywhere. The mountains are drenched and rivers and streams are full of fresh, crystal clear water. At times, the mountain range experiences a second spring with succulent pasture and abundant wild fruits. Guara's favorable climate enables leisure activities to carry on as normal. Via Ferrata climbing is a type of mountaineering that is all the rage throughout Europe. And tourists from all over come to Guara to enjoy it, always in small groups to protect the environment. Guides mark the way and ensure the adventurer's safety.
Meeting the challenge brings great satisfaction. Autumn is famous here, especially on north-facing slopes. Purple and ochre colors fill the hillsides and carpet the undergrowth. The visual spectacle is memorable. The temperature is still pleasant, and with the first lukewarm rays of sunshine, griffin vultures fly off in search of thermals to gain height. Their objective? Finding a corpse. Their vision is prodigious, and from far off they can detect the presence of corvids, which signal the presence of carrion, and they soon discover it. A wild boar, shot by a hunting party and not retrieved, is their booty. The show is about to begin. The fight for finding a space is furious and violent. But in a few hours, they have devoured the big 150 kilogram male, leaving not much left to do there. However, enormous silhouettes watch from high up, and while the griffin vultures leave the banquet, they approach discreetly with their characteristic majestic flight. And there they are, without attracting attention, looking for what no other animal can eat, bones. This is the Lamagiga, a bird in danger of extinction, but one that has never stopped flying over the Guara sky. There is dampness everywhere which benefits the fungi that abounds in the undergrowth. Autumn comes to an end and the season's last harvest takes place. Olives are taken to different oil mills, some of which use the same technique as centuries ago. After crushing the olives with a stone mill, the resulting paste is gathered in baskets ready to be pressed. Either in traditional oil mills or in those that employ the latest technology, 
the oil that is produced also features the flavor and aftertaste of this mountain range. The mountain range is covered in winter. A winter of haunting, evocative beauty. Fog is frequent at this time of year, but soon lifts, and the sun is again dominant. In winter, the water is really cold, and canyoners therefore look for dry ravines or ones with little water, which they rappel down. The season advances and the rigors of winter occasionally appear both striking and beautiful. Winter ends, and there is only snow left on Tozal de Guara, the highest peak after which the mountain range is called. A new cycle will begin, another period in which the mountain range will rise up majestically and magnificently, willing to share all of its attractions and numerous challenges, and in which every day will bring new adventures.